Hello, dual language immersion teachers. Um, both our partner teacher language and the English um, side of dual language. I wanted to give you this supplemental video and resource because I think there are a couple additional features that will be beneficial in you supporting keyboarding in multiple languages with our students. Um, one of the reasons that we actually chose Typing Club as a district is because it has multiple language supports, which not only supports our multi-language learners, but we know is a needed support for our dual language teachers. So we had you in mind when we, came, when we chose this program. The first thing I wanted to do is I'm showing a little bit different screen than I did in the first screencast because um, there's, there's two things I wanted to show you. The first is that in the program, you can actually assign multiple instructors to a class. So I know that there's always a constant problem about how do we add um, students between classes? Well, what you can do, um, this is not a, a feature you will have as a teacher, but your coaches and administrators will, is they will be able to do the ass assign an instructor to the class, and that way each teacher can be assigned as you're staring students. The other, th the other thing I wanted to show you is what is when, how to add um, other languages in your support. So when you go to assign course, just like we did before, everything's there, but you'll notice English is one choice, but we have Chinese, English, French, and Spanish. Obviously we have other languages. Um, those would probably need to be supported on an individual student basis. But let's say I chose Spanish. It will pop up and show you the language, uh, the courses that are available in Spanish. Um, Chinese, there's only one course available, and I believe it's either fourth or fifth grade that you start with that. But starting in second grade, they will have the opportunity to do this in Spanish. Um, in Spanish in particular, there are two choices. There's Espanol de España, and there's Espanol Latino Americo. If you look in the curriculum map, and it's been reviewed by our DLI team, Latino America, is the one you would use because it has the accents that will be more common for our students. But also, um, you'll notice that there are, the, there are these stories. I chose specific stories so that you would have the same story in English and Spanish and French. Chinese does, unfortunately doesn't have those. Um, but you will be able to add those courses um, depending on your grade level as well. So. Eva and the Rabbit is an English story, I believe, in fifth grade. And you can add Eva y el Conejo in for the Spanish side. So you can be able to find and assign for Spanish, for French, and again for Chinese, although in Chinese we just have the one course um, because it is a little bit different of a language setup. Um, there are other resources in the curriculum map, and there are ways to set up your keyboard. But um, anyway, I hope this is helpful, and, um, and I'm glad that we were able to get a program that will support you and the multiple languages that you support as teachers. Thank you.